Hello everyone, welcome to the channel once again. I am continuing with SharePoint Online series. In this video, we will learn how we can manage site collection in SharePoint Online. First thing first, I can go to the active sites and see all the site collections listed here. Uh, there are other things also, I can scroll right and you can see all the details, who are the primary admins, whether the site is hub site or not. What is the template which has been used for the creation of the site? Like you see in the previous video, we used classic team site template or team site or the communication site template to create this sites. You can see when, when it was created and who is the creator of the site collection. Uh, whether it is associated with the Microsoft 365 group or not. If it's no, meaning it's not. And if it's yes, meaning it's yes. So other details are whether external sharing is allowed or not. Yes and no. Sensitivity and every details are there. You can filter it also from here. Like click on here and you can see all the classic sites. If you click, only classic sites would be listed. If you want all those sites which has the Microsoft 365 group. So these are the sites. So you can filter it from here as well. Now for managing a site collection, first you need to determine who would be the site admin, site collection administrator of the site collection. So for the team site, how you can manage is uh, you can click on team site here and if you go and see the primary admins for communication side you can see an individual individual person is there for the communication side but if you see for the team side it's a group owner meaning a group which is associated with this team site is listed here so first i'll show you how you can manage the admins of communication site so you can click on here and then you can click here and then on the permissions tab you can go and then you can click on manage and then you can add additional admins if you require. Suppose I want to add the, suppose another user which is my IRSPO, SP admin. So this is my global admin, so I can add it here and I can save. And if you want to remove, you can click on this cross and then it will remove. So I'll save. And now you can see uh, the two, two, are the site admins so currently site owner is two admins are two similarly if you want to change anything like like suppose you want to change the name of the site you can edit from here if you want to change the url you can edit from here it's not associated with any it's not associated with hub site so it's not there the template is communication site so all the details also you can see here now if you go to a team site now this is my team site and if i click on this if you go to permission tab, it's a Microsoft 365 group. So if you manage, you can add users to that group. Now, if I suppose add IRSPO, I can add and I can save. Now, both will be reflected here. So it's a group. I'm adding those person to the group. I'm not individually adding those members. So this is how it is. If you want to remove, you can manage and then you can click on this and then you can remove it so this is how you manage the site collection administrator for a communication site or for a team site other things if you want to edit anything if you can edit name from here if you want to edit url you can edit url from here so suppose you want to change the name and you want to make test team one two so you can click on two and site name is available and then you can save it and this will be reflected now here you don't see a storage limit how you can manage the storage limits it's not there correct if you want to manage the storage limits you can go to the settings and then go to the classic settings And in SharePoint, you need to have, uh, you need to look the URLs also. This is very important because sometimes if you face any problem and you know the direct URL of that page, uh, it would come handy. Now site collection is storage limit. It's currently automatic. So every site collection has uh, been assigned uh, automatically the site collection story you can go and click on manually and then you can other settings are also there and you can click ok now if you go to the active sites 
suppose I want to change the storage limit of this stitch I can click here and then here you see the storage limit is 1 TB I can make it 500 GB and allow notification and I can click on save now if you go and see the storage limits you can see that these are by default and these you created two sites and these were by default now this I have edited manually so if you go and change the settings that you will decide manually and then you can change for other sites as well manually so test team one also here 25 TV you can edit it manually that's all for this video in the next video we will learn about hub sites and how we can manage the hub site thank you so much for watching and please do like share and subscribe the channel thank you so much